curse you, Anna. Hmm. I'm a little bit stunned. It's not bedtime. It's a. Aha! Finally. Let's have a look at the pillow. Okay. And. What a sad looking thing. All flat and lumpy. I barely get any sleep on it. I don't want to be too. Oh, they're not gonna be so candy in there? Okay, we need to combine something with the pillow. This. My telekinesis will. No. Empty. Right? Both empty. Empty. Can I just get down the floor? Maybe I should try some. Curse you, Anna! Wrong button. There. Okay. So, continuing on. We want to make sure that it looks inviting. Well, I could just pick it up before I try that. Oh. The camera. Okay. Okay, do anything with this. This isn't the right. Nope. Hmm. Can I just fluff up the pillow? What a sad looking thing. All flat and lumpy. Oh, 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 oh. Flat and lumpy. Uh, the stuffing from Mr. Unicorn. Oh, Mr. Unicorn. I'm honestly really, really sorry. But I just have to do this one last thing. Oh dear, I hope this stuffing was worth it. Poor, poor Mr. Unicorn. There we go. Oh wow, this looks so much comfier. Why didn't I think of this before? Alright. Not sure what the recorder thinks about, but uh, I have that as an option. Curse you, Anna. Curse you, Anna. There you go. All right, kitty. Nap time. No, not interested. Even with the extra stuffing? Jeez. Quite fussy for such a sleepy-looking cat, you know. I think I have the right idea. Only, maybe it just did- But what do you want on it? Nope. That won't- Maybe- Maybe this is- Nope. I'll just- Nope. doesn't seem to work. I don't think my pal- No. Using- No. I don't want- hmm. Curse you, Anna! Uh, that won't work. It looks like there's a section of- mm. There's a section of- I could probably take this off to try and get that hair out, but why would- Curse you, Anna! No. Open this door right now! I'm upstairs. Oh, wow! This looks so much comfier! Why didn't I think of this before? used to make the uh what do you call this the pillow better is these curtains so soft i'm not sure no there's stuff but what this doesn't seem to all right scissors and combine that with the pillow 
Ada. I think I've outdone myself with this one. This is surely the most comfy pillow ever. Surely. And then we can find out what that diamond thing around his neck is for. Curse you, Anna! All right, kitty, nap time. Oh, <coughs> how cute. Look how cute he is. Now's my chance to get that necklace. Curse you, Anna. Okay. I have the diamond from the collar. That's all I need. I think I'll just let him nap. So the what the mold and uh... okay. Oh cheese. Mm, cheese. Well, I'm not about to eat it, but someone else might. Hang on, I'll be right back. Alright. I shouldn't use my power on that. I'll just leave. Here we are, Mr. Rat. Some, uh, nice, tasty cheese. You ready? Yay! Yeah. Yay! We didn't have to poison the rat. I finally got it. Okay. Open this door right now. A safe? Wait, oh, man. where's the handle? Yuringo, are you there? Yuringo, I thought you said the button was behind the painting. Well, yes, but but uh, the, the button is there, I, I swear. It's just... Well, it's inside the safe. It's simple, don't worry. I've watched Winfrieda open it a hundred times. Yeah. The large hole is for a diamond-shaped key she uses. Oh. She keeps it on the cat's collar for safekeeping. That's great news. I already managed to get that. And, uh, one other small thing. Uh, there's, um, two locks on the safe. You see? Uh, oh, it's her hair, I right? just, uh, need, um, <laughs> Winfrieda's voice. Okay. I got it. Yoringo? How am I going to do that? Uh, you'll figure something out, Anna. I'm sure you will. <sighs> All right. Thanks, Yuringo. I'll go try and open this safe, I guess. All right, Anna. I'll be here if you need anything. Yeah, literally can't move from his body. Poor guy. Curse you, Anna! Actually, if the safe does need her voice to open it, maybe a recording of it could work. Yeah. So, uh, how's the weather out there? What? How dare you? You just wait, child. You'll regret this. Oh, you will regret this. Yep, that should do it. Looks like that worked. I think I'll hang on to this diamond, too. Could come in handy. Open this door right now. Easy, Daisy. Oops. Prints of some sort and a book of witchcraft. It's full of spells. I think you're in ghost eating a song. Oh, what's this? A portrait? This is a little unusual. It's a family portrait, but whose family? 
And why does the witch have it locked away? The lady looks a bit like the old witch. Only different. I wonder if it's a relative of some sort, maybe? The corner has been ripped out, too. Another person was in this picture before. I guess the witch didn't want them in there. I don't know what the witch is up to, but I'm going to hold on to this. These people may be in danger. If I ever find them, I should warn them. Ah, here we are. A button. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, wow. A door. This is it. Our way out. I'll go check ahead before I get Ben in case there's anything that would scare him. Oh, it can't be. It's just... It's just a basement. Ben. <sighs> a dead end. Huh? Greetings, young one. Ah! What is this? Shh. What? Shh. And greetings again. What a glorious fate that has brought you to this den. Oh, um, thank you? Tis so long I have waited in the dust and the gloom for your ill-fated arrival to me in this room. You knew I was coming? Indeed, my dear Anna, for I see far and wide. The witch used me to find you. You had no place to hide. I see. Oh, but where are my manners? Since now you've come hither, I have no name to greet you by, though you may call me Mira. Hmm. Well then, hello, Mira. Pleased to meet you. A pleasure, dear Anna. A pleasure indeed. Please ask me your questions, for I have answers you need. How's my grandpa? How is my grandpa? Do you know if he's okay? It's been so long since I've left, and this witch, and... Indeed I do, Anna. And with your grandpa, I see that he does not succumb to the curse, is he? Curse? Curse? What do you mean, curse? Look, I'm sorry. I appreciate the help. I just don't understand these rhymes. You're only getting me confused, and... And, uh, I'm just so worried about Grandpa. I miss him so much. Come now, dear girl. Please not be afraid. To help people like you, tis why I was made. Watch closely now, for I travel far to bring you the image of your beloved Grandpa. Really? Okay. Grandpa! Still alive? Oh no. He looks even worse than before. I cannot create lies. Tis the truth I must speak. And the tragic truth is with each day he grows weak. What can I do, Mirror? Where do I need to go? Through the witch's dark woods over the east cliffs of snow lies the lonely village of Wunderhorn far down below. Within here these quarters lives a magician of heart pure. Find him, dear Anna, and you shall find your cure. Hmm. A cure! I knew it! The village of Wunderhorn. Thank you, Mirror. Really, I can't thank you enough. But let's not be hasty. You must first take heed. You cannot simply escape for protection you still need. Mm -hmm. So far, everyone about the witch seems nice enough. No matter how many else we're escaping. Even Jurgen. You're gonna, I was a little bit suspicious of, but 
they seem to be telling the truth. Mostly. I wonder what it is about Winifreda though. Why she turned out the way she did, or what's her motivation? Do you know a way out of this tower? Ah yes, the quest you have taken has indeed become dire. Fear not, for the answer lies within an object acquired. With me? Hmm? I don't understand. How did you say I find a way out? How did you say I find a way out? You say it's something I have? Ah yes, the quest you have taken has indeed become dire. Fear not, for the answer lies within an object acquired. I already have it. With me? Wait, you don't mean the spell book, do you? Indeed, it is needed a crucial element of escape. But the path you must travel still needs to take shape. Protection? What do you mean? The witch, you see, she'll never resign. Wherever you go, she will hunt down your mind. So what do I do? Once the path to escaping has been found and revealed, you must fashion a spell that will act as your shield. Hmm. And that's in this spell book, right? Turn to page 44, and there you shall read of the spell with such strength that you will meet your need. It is an amulet you cast it on and wear from henceforth. Then all the tricks from the witch can simply be ignored. Okay. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Wait. All these ingredients. A raven's feather. A strand of hair from the one you need protection from. A blessing from the dead over the cauldron they are in. Then I need to heat them to a boil together. And then I need to dip in an amulet charged by the moon. Mirror, how am I going to find all those things here? Rest assured, dear girl, in this tower, these are strewn. Well, you can see everything, right? Can't you just tell me where to find them? Oh, I'm afraid I cannot. I have assisted all I can. Hmm. The rest of the way is for you now to plan. <sighs> I Somehow I had a feeling you might say something like that. Me too. Can I reverse the spell on Ben? I think he used to be a boy before the witch kidnapped him. And... Indeed, the poor child, poor victim of fate. A destiny strife with much death, fear, and hate. What? What? Death? Is Ben going to be okay? I want to help him, not put him in danger. It is certain that sorrow is within the boy's tail. But your help, I can assure, will be of avail. Hmm. I suppose I see. Explain this spell to me again. Turn to page 44, and there you shall read of the spell with such strength that you will meet your need. It is an amulet you cast it on and wear from henceforth. Then all the tricks from the witch can simply be ignored. Oh, let's...
let's see. Hmm. Wait, all these ingredients. Mirror, how am I going to find all those things here? Rest assured, dear girl. Say ah yes, fear not. With me, wait. Indeed, but the how did you? you say ah, fear not. With me, wait. Indeed, but the path. You I'm gonna keep. I'm going to keep looking. I still have a while to go before I can get away from here. Indeed, brave child. I'll be here when you're stuck. With your search, though, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Mirror, for everything. It's all pretty gross sounding stuff. Eyes of Newt, lizards, gizzards, vampire blood. Blah, so gross. Nope, that. It's too far away. I should try something else. Frogs, the essential things for a witch, I guess. This is a little unusual. Whose family? The lady looks a bit like the old witch. Only different. The corner has been ripped out too. Another person was in this picture before. I don't know what the witch is up to, but I'm going to hold on to this. These people may be in danger. Frog is nope. So, which book should I have a look at? As you don't. All right, let's see here. Hmm, this seems interesting. Dragons. Dragons are large lizard-like creatures that live within forest caves. They have scaled skin, wings, razor-sharp teeth and claws, and are capable of breathing fire. To achieve this, they will consume kerosene or paraffin, which ignites within their hot bellies. Kerosene Communicating with the other side. Alright, here we go. Summoning the spirits of the dead. Those who pass on to the other side leave a remnant of their past lives in our world. This will most often come in an object, something close to their heart, their spiritual essence. One of the basic summoning techniques is to take such an object with you to sleep. During sleep, the spirit will seek you out in open communications. Hmm. Guide to evil pets. Aha! This is what I need. The common raven. It is not uncommon to find raven nests within rooftops or rafters of cabins and houses. Ravens who have settled down, however, become extremely territorial and aggressive in nature. This is all the more reason why they make an ideal pet for any evil persons. <laughs> party tricks. What does the witch want with party tricks? It's kind of fun though. Some neat tricks in here. Tricks on guessing cards? Tricks on pulling handkerchiefs out of a hat. Even tricks for making doves and rabbits appear. Okay, let's see. Nothing up my sleeve. 
And presto. <laughs> oh, wow. It was <coughs> Actually useful. Evil clothes. A pile of spare gowns. They look like the ones the witch wears. Working on spells must be messy business. these things. It must be a pain to keep them going all the time. First a talking teddy, and now a talking mirror. I'll believe just about anything after this place. <coughs> Grandpa would be disappointed in me. Maybe there's some of her hair on them for the spell. I don't believe it. Not a single hair. Well, we know where the hair is. They want us to go into the sink to get it. Hmm. I can't really see down there, but it looks like this is where all the spell scraps end up. Nope, that thing stuck fast. Hmm. If this is where all the spell scraps end up, who knows what we could find down there? Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's another place. The witch's cauldron, where all the magic happens. I'm missing some things for the spell. I still need a raven's feather, some of the witch's hair, a blessing from the dead. Then I'll finally be able to get far away from this wicked witch. Ugh. I'm not sticking my arm in there. Who knows what the... That won't work. No, I could hurt him. Hmm. I'm not really sure what any of these bottles are for. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's not good. One of those bottles has a nice, big, useful-looking cork. One of those bo- The witch would put the spell book there while she works, I guess. Okay, so the protection- A raven's feather, a blessing, then I need to heat them to a boil together, and then- Simple, right? According to the layout of the house here, there used to be a chimney going down into my bedroom, above the table in the corner. If the witch patched up the roof where the chimney was, I wonder, maybe it's weak enough for me to break through it. All right, that is useful to know. Uh, let's put the book in the book stand. I think I'll keep the books with me in case I need them. All right, fair enough. The witch certain it must be a pain to keep them going all the time. Grandpa would be disapp- For first place in the science youth fair, this certificate is awarded to Hans Lind. Who is Hans Lind? Why would the old witch have this? Science fair, Hans Lind. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really follow what it says, though. It sounds very complicated. I don't really understand it. I think I might just leave it. This actually seems to be a human skull. Who knows what deeds the witch did to get her hands on this? According to the book, I need to find an object of the dead. A skull isn't going to help, I'm afraid. The witch certainly likes these things. It must be a pain to keep them going all- That doesn't- Oh, a shiny gold ring. Oh, that must be his wife. Jorgenov's wife, right? That's, that's her skeleton? Oh boy.
Yeah, I'm just gonna show it to him. See his reaction. I don't think he'd be in. Yuringo? Are you there? Hi again, Anna. Yuringo, you lied to me. There's no passageway, just a basement. Okay, okay. Just hear me out. In the basement, Winfrieda has something to untrap me. Well, it's a plain gold ring. My wedding ring, actually. What's his? The thing is, <laughs> I... I kind of don't know where it is exactly. But I know Winfrieda keeps it downstairs. Please, I, I beg you. Uh, find my ring and bring it to me. Alright, I'll find it. I just need a little help too now. I'm going to try to make a spell. A protection spell. And apparently I need to have the cauldron downstairs blessed by the dead. Uh, yeah, yes, sure. I'll do that. Just get the ring, okay, Anna? You have to find it. I mean, I already did, so... Here. Yuringo? Are you there? Hi again, Anna. I found it, Yuringo. Is that... Could it be? Let me see. Hold it out for me. I... <laughs> I don't believe it. I'm free. Yay! That's great, Yuringo. Yurinde! I, I have to go find Yurinde. Of course. But, um... Do you mind just helping me quickly with the cauldron? My little nightingale. Oh, my silent dove. Your Yuringo will find you and save you from this wretched place. Um, yes. But Yuringo? The cauldron? Fear not, my nightingale. I'm coming uh, now. Okay, there he goes. Yuringo, please wait. Ah, man. Yuringo, great. Thanks a lot, Yuringo. <laughs> uh, How am I going to find someone thing. to bless the cauldron? Let's find. Um, let's find his wife. Yuringo, are you there? Nope, nothing. His spirit's long gone. So much for his help. His spirit's. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Teddy upstairs. Even if I did try and summon Yuringo like the book, and besides, there's no objects on him to use for the spell. No, I'm afraid I'm going to have to find the help of another ghost now. Curse you. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, 